I like men. Crunchyroll 2022 Anime Awards are here and y'all what that means. It's time to vote. Your boy has not been spoiled on the nominations. And I'm excited to get my raw reaction. We're going to go for all these bottom to top. Because Anime of the Year is the last one. So we'll go bottom to top. And we're going to see what this is all about. I haven't heard anything if it's good or bad. But you know, your boy is excited. I'd be quite the connoisseur. So with that said, like and sub. Let's get into it. So we have the special categories. And then we got, did you vote like the whole main section? And I guess we'll start from bottom to top. Because you know, Anime of the Year is the whole type of thing. So the first one we have is Presenter's Choice and Fingy. Okay, never mind. You can't click them. So I just messed that up completely. So the best first one we actually got is Best Voice Artist Performance or Actor Artist. I guess they're calling it Artist for gender neutral type of things. Um, English. And I don't really listen to the dub too much. Uh, we're going to forget about this video. So we got Toy Animation, Zeno Robinson. Um, I don't know who that would be. Uh, Sung, Won, Chu. And I guess they're not going to say the characters. Armor Lee. Okay, you already know pretty much. Okay, I, I, okay, might as well go into the video. Let's see what this is all about. Y'all feel me? I don't want to win it too loud. I don't want too, too loud. Um, Kotoro. Okay. I'll skim for this pretty much. Amelie. I'm not going to lie. I'm already going to vote Amelie. Amelie, if you're watching this, um, I love you. Uh, that's, that's first of all. Uh, what a good VTuber, you know, like, I, I love that woman. So, uh, that's what I'm going to say. I'm going to vote for Amelie. The next category we got is... I think if this is, yeah, okay, best voice. Oh, Japanese, Japanese, yo. Okay, 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 okay. So we got uh, Atsumi Tana. I think that would be Lloyd, right? I think that would be Lloyd. I think. Uh, let me go through this properly. I, I, I guess I'll just watch the video and then look below. I think that's like the best thing to do. Anya, okay, Anya, okay. Interesting. That's a good one. Chisato. I, ooh, Jolene. Futapa, okay. Tanjiro, Natsuki, hi, hi. Okay, that's interesting. Is Yuki Kaiji in here? That's what I'm saying. That's what I said, though. Is Yuki Kaiji in here? Uh-huh. Okay. Ooh, this is a very hard one. Because my heart wants to say Yuki Kaiji. Because he really gave his... If we roll to the clip, the, the performances he gave within this season of AOT was phenomenal. Roll the clip right here. This scene right here. <laughs> This scene right here really like first of all let's let's bear in mind this boy lost his almost lost his voice while doing this a report came out that you could almost lost his voice doing this scream not only that like this boy was putting his heart out in his aot season um so that already phenomenal and then anya did the character so well like this came into this and this really you know won everybody's heart almost right and then we also have i for those new new on the new on the scene pretty much i think her first role she did was Hibiki from Dumbbell, and then she went into uh, the character Jolene, and she's a really, really big fan of Jolene. Go out of the park. And not even that, like, power. She did power as well. I'm not going to talk about power, obviously, that won't be counted for this. But she did an amazing job as power, so very hard. I'm not too sure what to think. Chisato, like I said, like, the thing is with Chisato, she is such a good character. She has so much charisma. Chika, uh, Anna's, uh, <laughs> Anzai, my bad, I almost said that wrong. She did such a, like, Chisato probably might be my best girl of the year, and if she's on there, I'm going to be so happy. Chisato did such a good job. So it's either, it's I photo, and Tanjiro was good too, but I don't think it really compares. For me, it's either I photo, Yuki Kaiji, or Ch uh, the Chisato voice actor, Chika Anzai. Um, I'm having to give it Yuki Kaiji, just for with the AOT fan in me. Uh, and the performance he gave within this season was actually phenomenal. So, goosebumps, goosebumps, Yuki Kaiji, you're winning my vote for this one. Best romance then, uh, Call of a Night. Ooh. Can't give someone's love as well. Ooh, Komi, mmm. Mmm, mmm, okay. Might be controversial. Call of the Night is actually my favorite summer anime. I love Nazuna and I love do my, the, the, the Ko situation. Nazuna and Ko were such a good couple. But then you got the peak season of Kaguya Summer Love is War. That's a really hard one. But Kaguya fans. Oh no, but oh, I love Nazuna so much. And Call of the Night was such a good show. Oh my god. This one is a very hard one for me. Because like I said, I, I love Kaguya Summer, but I love Call of the Night. Call of the Night. This is so hard. Um... Okay, I'm going to pick Kaguya. And the reason I'm going to pick Kaguya is, first of all, it's been running longer. The build-up has been so immense. And when you really think about the ultra-romantic, this season really was ultra-romantic. You even had, like, some of the stuff between... Um, and I don't read the manga, so I don't know how if this will progress anymore. You had the Ishigami and the pink-haired girl. I forgot her name. Um, I can't remember the girl. Yeah, his senpai. I can't remember the senpai's name. But yeah, the Ishigami and the senpai's name. And then I guess you saw have Eno sprinkled in that too. And then you have Shirogane and Kaguya. Which was really good. So I'm going to have to give it to Kaguya. Kaguya La Summer Love is well. Ultra Romantic. Season 3. Next category. Is Best Fantasy. I don't know what. Okay, bet. Alright, let's see. Demon Slayer. Interesting. Main the Abyss. Ooh. 
Mushoku Tensei, so that counts. Mushoku Tensei counts. Ranking of Kings Core 2. Doesn't Mushoku Tensei count? Was that really this year? Was that this year? I need to do some research because that might be bullshit me that. That's weird. Mushoku Tensei ended in October. Uh, or the December of 2021. So I'm surprised why that's it. But Ranking of Kings... Okay. Um, yeah, okay. That That's wild. They still put that in there. Demon Slayer is probably winning this. And my personal thing... Because this won't win uh, Anime of the Year, even though I really want it to. Made in Abyss. This season was phenomenal from start to finish. Killed me. I do have the, the stream VODs recorded. And I probably will upload this pay, uh, those to Patreon eventually. Um, but Made in Abyss. That season was phenomenal start to end. Emotional. Wrecked me. Uh, and really just like a... It almost felt like a movie. Like, uh, actually almost felt like a movie. Um, and I'm anime only for Made in Abyss. So seeing it come back and seeing it get announced for a third season. Cap, by the way. <laughs> Not planned. That's going to take forever to come out. But seeing that come out and uh season two we're experiencing it not weekly but almost weekly i guess like i did get to binge it a bit because i was so behind that was a phenomenal season really wrecked my car a really fucked up season two like really yo if y'all want depressing shows go watch main abyss that's what i'm gonna say main abyss you're getting my vote for that all right next category we have best drama oh i'm trying to think what was it what was a really good drama last year you know, my mind's just slipping completely. Okay, fuck it. We'll just go look at this. Best drama. 86 part two. That made it. Let's go. Oh, the AOT's here too. And Cyberpunk's here. And made it. Oh my god. Yeah, this is a really hard one. And Kotaro Lives Alone is on here too. Kotaro Lives Alone, by the way. Let me say, um, y'all probably didn't watch this anime. It was on Netflix. Next Netflix exclusive. So a lot of people didn't watch this. This is a very depressing show it's about a kid who sort of lives on his own and i guess throughout the episodes go on you sort of know find out why this kid lives on his own what really happened to him and you get like this really wholesome relationship at the same time it's really behind the scenes fucked up shit happening and as you really go you're just like wow this series is depressing first of all he should win best boy protect this kid at all i haven't seen the map of dance show so i can't really say anything about that main the best has voted for that so let's cross it out cyberpunk edge runners i feel like that's going to be nominated for best original is that best original Best original anime. Okay, so Cyberpunk's gonna... I'll probably vote Cyberpunk on that, so we have to see. So it's AOT86, and because 86 had a stellar... Because it ended this year, I think it was the last two episodes this year. A stellar finale from the last episode of this? I'm sorry, AOT. I love you so much, Shingeki no Kojin. It's one of my top three anime. 86, though. Yo, if you haven't watched this 86 season... I'm just saying. Go watch this 86 season. Phenomenal. Next category is best comedy, and that's interesting. Kaguya Summer Love is War, Kotaro Lives Alone, like I said, it's funny. Also depressing, Dress Up Darling, Dress Darling is funny, so. Spy Family, Uncle Lives in Another World, What Keeps Getting Delayed, and Your Boy Call Ming. I've not seen this, haven't finished this, nowhere near caught up. So it's between these four. And I wouldn't really put this as best comedy. I really did enjoy Spy Season 1, like Part 1. I haven't actually watched Part 2. Um, so, but Dress Up Darling was really funny too. Loki might give it a dress up, darling. I think Marin's energy in there is that best girl. I'm trying to see what the other things are. This is interesting. Oh my god, this is a really hard one. I don't really find this Kaguya season. Okay, the thing is about the Kaguya season, I think it was so different, but I don't really find it as funny as the other ones. I think season two is the funniest by far. Um, well, I actually think season one's funnier. I don't know. I'm gonna give it a spy. Spy Family, you got this. This one's too hard, so I'm going to just, like, get rid of this one just so it's not lingering within my mind. Let me know what y'all are picking down below after all these categories, by the way. This is my my opinion, personally, and it's obviously the right one because it's not plan. But, yo, um, interesting. Best action, though. Diva Slayer's going to win this. AOT, Cyberpunk, Diva Slayer, JoJo, Spy Family, like as you go. I'm sorry. When it comes to action, like, straight action, Cyberpunk was phenomenal, by the way. Um, I've seen all of these, but I haven't finished JoJo. I haven't seen Batch 2. I've only watched ba Batch 1 is what I mean. Um, when it comes to straight action, Ufo Table sort of pre presents the best action within all of these shows. You know that AOC, AOT season was action-packed. They had a lot of story too. Like a Street Call is also phenomenal. So it would be out of these two for me, but just because of that Demon Slayer, that amazing episode, I think it was season two, episode 11? Let's say episode 11, yeah. Uh, no, episode 10? 10 or 11? Phenomenal. So we're going to vote Demon Slayer. Uh, what, no, what, what's more to say? What is more to say, JoJo fans? Don't kill me. Next category... Must protect cat. That's going to be Anya, right? Anya Forger, Boji, Kotaro, Kage, Marin Kita. Wait, Marin's in here? What do you mean by that? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Interesting. I don't know why Marin would be on here. Boji, Kage. So it's between these two. I haven't actually finished Ranking of Kings. Uh, Komi as well. I would protect that woman with my life. I love her. Kotaro is really good. I actually think Kotaro is better than Boji. That's a very controversial opinion. I'm going to vote Anya. 
because Ani is just amazing. Who doesn't like Ani? Best supporting character. Ai Hayasaka, Anya Forger, Kage, Rebecca, Tengen Uzui, or your Forger. Why isn't your main? Supporting. Tengen's on here too. Rebecca was great too. Anya, Ai Hayasaka, Kage. I don't like this one. Where's Takina? Where's Takina from Lycra's Recall? I, are you kidding me, right? Out of all the supporting characters, I personally think Takina from Lycra's Recall might have to be the best. That's what I'm saying. I feel like I'm forgetting other series. But yeah, um, I'm going to go. This is very controversial. This is very weird here. Rebecca was great, but I feel like she still didn't do enough for me to be like, oh, she's the best supporting character. She's definitely the best supporting character in her show. <laughs> uh, if, you can, if you don't count Lucy and David. Um, Kage, I didn't finish Ranking Kings. Anya, I just voted for her, so I feel bad voting for her again. Ai Hayasaka. Oh, she was really good this season, actually, wasn't she? This is hard. And I got my grape juice. Shout out to the grape juice. Shout out to, um, I don't know what brand is in, but sponsor me for real, for real. Um, interesting though. I, I think I'm going to have to go with your, your or Tengen. Controversial. Yep, dip, do a Out goes you. Yeah, okay. We're voting for, uh, I said out goes you. So we're voting for Uzui. We did it. Dip, do. Uzui. Uh, yeah, I think Uzui was really good. I can't lie. I really did like his, uh, like his style. Oh, we don't have the best protagonist and antagonist this time. That was so funny last year. Go check out the VOD from last year. Uh, we really did vote. Last year we did the live stream and that was really fun to do. Hopefully you guys can catch us on the live stream this year. We're going to really be streaming it. It's going to be like really a lot of fun. So come and hang. Like get a few of the homies on there. It'll be a nice party. So remember to like and sub. It'll be fun. Best main character. I'm going to go with Aaron Yeager. Like whoever is on here. There you go. Um, great character. Great character. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Lloyd is good, but best main character. I wouldn't count him there. Bodgy's great. I'm sorry. Like there's no, there's literally no question. I do love Chisato, by the way, but there is no question within this. No question. Like y'all can fight me in the comments all you want. No question. Aaron Yeager. Next is best director. Um, okay, so we got Haro Sotozuki. Oh, Hiroyuki Imashi. He did a really good job. Um, da, 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 da. Kazuhiro Fudohashi, Shingo Adachi, Yosuke Hata, and Yurichiro Hayashi. For direction, I'm picking Cyberpunk. Because honestly, the, the way the Cyberpunk anime was just directed overall, I'm looking if there's anything within these videos. The way the cyberpunk anime was just directed, I, I went into this like thinking this anime is going to be complete dog shit. But I was pleasantly surprised. Had such an adult theme and we don't really get many of these adult animes. And I haven't really seen an adult anime. We get Devilman Crybaby. Now we're getting cyberpunk like this. I hope in the future we get more adult animes. Because cyberpunk, the way that was directed, Studio Trigger, I think it's studio, one of Studio Trigger's finest works. So all I'm going to say is I'm picking cyberpunk over this. I like overall, like it was phenomenally directed. Best anime song. Is this like opening? Ooh, man, 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 that was good too. Mine on fiction was good. I don't know what this is. Oh, what piece is made on here? What was that one? That was that one. Um, that actually annoyed me when I had to hear that like seven times in the movie. I can't lie. Um, okay, so the problem is with this. Okay, so opening sequence. Okay, so this is the song overall, right? Because a lot of people get it confused. When it's sequence, it means like the opening overall, like. Visuals, song, everything, the sequence. So this is just song, right? Does that the did it like play it here? Nah, it didn't. Okay, okay. Uh song wise, I honestly have to pick um comedy. Um Gen Hoshino. I think that's the person who did it. Gen Hoshino, right? Uh he did such a good job. That song's such a vibe. I can't even lie. It's like <laughs> Phenomenal, honestly. We're picking Gen Hoshino comedy. It's such a good song. Next one is best film. That's interesting. So I'm guessing Dragon Ball. I haven't seen Bubble. Jutsu Kaisen Zero. One Piece Film Red. And I don't know what Inu O is. Nor Deer King. And I haven't seen Bubble. So it's either Jutsu Kaisen or One Piece Film Red. This is wild. Because I'm so... One Piece is my favorite anime ever. I'm, I'm a bit of a One Piece tard. Um, I don't actually have a One Piece poster back there. Because there wasn't any cool looking ones. Is this AOT and Naruto. Um, and Naruto's not even my top 10. I'm not going to lie. I think the characters are dope. AOT is in my top 5. Um, I'm picking... Even though I am a One Piece song, the movie did have its flaws. So start to finish, I really did enjoy Jutsu Kaisen Zero. This, uh, Mappa was able to like make me love the character Yuta um, so much within the season, within just that season overall. Yuta uh, Okotsu, literally, like I, I almost like him more than Yuji. And I'm anime only. So I don't, I don't know what Uta does. Uh, Uta, 
<laughs> I figured One Piece Moment Red. One Piece Moment Red was a great movie. It really is like a musical. So if y'all not into that, it's probably not for you. And um, it really did drag like uh, with the music. Because I heard there was like little when uh, I, I heard people were gasping every time uh, people sang. Otto is phenomenal, by the way. I really do love Otto. She's so talented at such a young age. I think, I think Otto is younger than me is the weird part. Um, Like legit like a month younger than me. So even that is really weird to say. Otto is phenomenal for her age. And she does such a good job as Uta of the singing voice. I'm not sure, too sure the voice actress is because it's a little bit different. But overall, I'm picking Jutsu Kaisen Zero. I want to check out this movie because the poster looks cool. And that sounds cool too. But Jutsu Kaisen Zero is getting my film of the year award. Vote. Best score. So that would be OST. No name. Okay, they did that. Akira. I don't remember many cyberpunk covers. Oh, wait, never mind. That could get away. No, 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 no. Okay, that I don't know what this. Kevin Penkin. Wow. Goshino and Yuki. Ooh, Hiroki Swana. That's the problem here, right? Because, okay, realistically looking at scores, right? Y'all going to take a dive into my Spotify a little bit. Let me not try to show anything I don't want to show. Okay, so we're looking just OST specifically, right? Uh, Like, what I'm interested in is Footsteps of Doom. That was good. That was good. That was good. This is a really good fucking soundtrack over here. And I'm upset 86 isn't in here. Damn. Okay, Kevin. Okay, the Maiden Abyss soundtrack, though. Maiden Abyss is really good, though. That's the problem. Ah. I don't know because I, I watch Main Abyss more of a binge format. I'm going to have to pick AOT, even though Demon Slayers was really good too. But the only ones that really stand out to me is AOT. And I'm going to get a lot of slack for this. But even though the thing is about Cyberpunk, I don't know if it's meaning the games too. Because the game OSTs were really good. I really did like some of them. Overall, I'm going to, I'm such a Hiroyuki Swano dick rider that I'm probably just going to pick. Yeah, that, that's how it really is. Now we finally got to like the last few ones. We got best ending sequence. So this is visuals. This is everything, honestly. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, Akamano Ko. Ooh. That is such a beautiful sequence. Like, generally. Oh my god. It's gonna make me cry a little bit. Fuck it. Should we just watch all of them? Do we watch all of them? Alright, fuck it. That's what we're gonna do. You know, we're, we're gonna we go have a little trip. We're gonna, like, skim through all of them. A little bit, pretty much. That's why I think. This, oh my god. This is so good though, and I don't want to watch all of it because of copyright. Like, cause they're gonna they're gonna get my ass. I, I don't think I can play audio as much, right? I can talk over it a little bit. Okay, yeah, that's really fun. Good. Oh my god! And then like all of this, this it's a beautiful. And then uh, comedy. Uh, I'm trying to remember comedy. Uh, Spy X Family. This was really good too. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This was really good too. 60 FPS is disgusting, by the way. Um, I know I'm watching two of them because I really do remember the old ones really well. I remember the Komi one really well, too. I think overall... Call of a Night. Call of a Night. Your, uh, your Fukasha no Uta. Phenomenal song. Just the way it looks and everything. Um, I'll go for the opening, too, right now, just in case nobody hasn't seen it. Uh, da -da -da. And they like this, this ED is phenomenal. Like, th th bro, come on, creepy nuts, by the way. Phenomenal. Like, the song and everything. Like, Jared, the visuals too. No, I was not just looking hot. I think it really is like a sex appeal type thing. Yo, I say like the visuals are kind of dead compared to the other ones, but when it gets like a certain bit, she'd just be vibing, bro. Like, this, uh, this ED is just like, come on, brother. Like, really? I love it. I love it. Like, she'd be dropping it back, brother. So, nah, mm. Yeah, I'm picking Call of the Night. I don't care. Best opening. I don't think we'll go through them again because that actually did take a while. Um, GG Batman Air. Mixed Nuts. Also good. Naked Hero. Um, Naked Hero. That was the first one, right? That wasn't Zambu. Zambu. Let me look. Um... Oh, oh, wow. Never mind. It is. Ooh. Ooh. I'm picking AOT, though. I'm picking AOT. Mainly because I'm such a metalhead too. Uh, and that opening rumbling, the song by Sim and the visuals Mappa did there. Phenomenal, I'm picking rumbling. Gone on long so far, honestly. Best continuing series. Attack on Titan, Demon Slayer, Jojo, Kaguya, One Piece. Wow, why are they going to do me like this? Made in the Abyss. Um, again. Again, I'm such a One Piece fan and the Wano arc has really its highs. But I've said this so much and I've caught up on a manga. The One Piece Wano arc has its highs but is also mixed in with so much dog shit that it kind of hurts like the arc and that's like me thinking about the mangas because i haven't watched every episode of anime if we're just talking about the continuing series one piece has 10 out of 10 episodes then it goes like a 2 out of 10 episode was the most dog shit pacing 
and this is saying like One Piece is my favorite anime and manga or favorite series. It hurts to say, but yo, the One Piece pacing is horrible. Uh, the series does a good job most episodes. I have to give it AOT again. Just from start to finish so far, every season has put on at least a 9 plus out of 10 uh, for me, production wise. Just keeps up in itself. And story wise, it's just gotten to the point where it's like a combination of everything happening. I know it's getting like part 69 at this point. But AOT, I'm going to have to give another vote for it. Y'all going to grow me in the comments for doing that. Best new series Call of the Night, Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Like I said, I'm going to vote Cyberpunk. Like a Street Call, My Dress Up Darling, and Book Comedy Inspired Family. Um, I'm gonna vote, ooh, wait, but Best Originals on here too I'm gonna, best, okay I shouldn't be doing this But just because I want to see if Cyberpunk is in here I'm going to vote in here So, Best Original, Cyberpunk is not even in here Wow, but that actually helps me a little bit Because I'm gonna vote Cyberpunk right here Uh, for Best, uh, New Series, right? Easy, easy vote, Cyberpunk it went in my vote, right? Easy. I don't have to even look at other ones. All the other ones are great, but Cyberpunk was so good. Um, best animation. Demon Slayer. Just how it is. Even Cyberpunk has really good animation. Demon Slayer, Ufo Table, no question. Jeremy, no question. Like, y'all could argue me all you want. Ufo Table really upped themselves that level. They, like, went to a new fucking century. Insane. Best character design. Oh, uh, wow. Ooh. I might have to give it to Masa Nori Shino though, because the JoJo character designs are so good. I think I might have, I'm gonna give it to Masa Nori Shino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. JoJo characters. I don't think you can really beat JoJo character designs. That's just my opinion. Like JoJo character designs are so well made. I don't think you can beat them. Best original anime. Uh, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> That's insane. Uh, I don't know what any of these series are. I know Birdie Wing. I don't know this. I don't know this. I don't know this. I already... Lycra's Recall is the most simple vote to do. Wow, they're pretty much just... Let's just give it to Lycra's Recall. An anime of the year. My prediction is going to be Demon Slayer is in here. <clears throat> AOT is in here. Um, Cyberpunk's in here. That's free. How many series are there, Poe? Free. The six. So Demon Slayer, Cyberpunk. Um, AOT. Ranking of Kings. Somehow, 86 maybe. And I don't know. So let's see. Yeah, Attack on Titan, Demon Slayer, oh wow, uh, Like a Recall, Cyberpunk, Rank of Kings, and Spy Family. Are they missing something? I don't know. Overall in here, I haven't seen. Spy Family is not animated here. Uh, like a Recall, not, not animated here, but it was great. Cyberpunk, Demon Slayer, thingy. Demon Slayer has had... Out of those three episodes, I want to say, like, uh, like it was a decent season. Cyberpunk is great, but, um, like I said, when you're looking at overall the season, and over how a story has been told from season one to now, and this is kind of anime, AOT had a really great first episode, uh, a decent second episode with the Yelena type of thing, uh, then the third episode was the one with, uh, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, if anyone wants to click off of AOT season two part, uh, part two spoilers, this third episode had Aaron to get his head shot off, right? Phenomenal. It's probably my favorite AOT episode. Um, the one off that is when Aaron was, you know, doing that shit with Grisha. The one off that was the rumbling one. Then the one after that was a continuation of rumbling one. And I think Annie woke up at the end of that. Honestly, start to finish, the AOT season was actually phenomenal. Even the last episode. I'm voting AOT. And that pretty much wraps up. The Crunchyroll, <laughs> Crunchyroll Awards. That's crazy. There you go. I've done all my votes. And these are... That's crazy. Oh my god, that's insane. Oh, I look like the biggest AOT fan. So as the anime is AOT. Best original anime is like Chris Recall. Best character is JoJo. Best animation is Demon Slayer. <laughs> Best new series, Cyberpunk. <laughs> Best continuing series, <laughs> AOT. AOT, Call of a Night. Fine. Best score, AOT. I, like, I realistically could have gotten someone else. Best film, Jutsu Cast Zero. Best uh, anime song, I did say ending, but uh, comedy. Uh, was a good one. Best director, Cyberpunk. Uh, best uh, main character, Eden. Um, Yeah, wow. I think it's fair. A little bit fair. Not really. One, two, three, four, five. AOT was like in every category, no? It's what it is. That's me, Azu Sensei, signing off. Maybe me remember to like and sub. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Grow me if you want. Join my Discord if y'all want to argue with me there. Follow my Twitter if you want to argue with me there. Yo, uh, or if you agree with me, let me know. Uh, let me know what you don't agree with or mine. Like and sub, join me for the actual anime awards, whenever that is. I think it's in February, it said. But yeah, 
A lot of fun. I'll see y'all next time. Let me know what y'all think. Make sure to let me know what y'all are voting. How do hashtag country or maybe at me too. Or at, 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 uh, it's at Azusensei on Twitter. So go find me on that. Let me know what y'all think down below. And I'll see you next time. Sensei, out.